Hello friends, are you ready for some freakily, spookily, paranormal videos? Well I am. Today, we are taking a look at the king himself, King Frostmere. Ooh, and this video is called, The Scariest Videos You Should Never Watch Alone. Let's check it out. Like right now. Hello guys, tonight it is time to watch some very scary videos that you should never watch alone. Yeah. The following video was captured by a man who states that recently he had been woken up by some really odd and eerie noises that were stemming from the cross. That's very blurry video. His bedroom. <laughs> he never found anything, but decided that tonight he wants to have a camcorder up there to perhaps get a glimpse of what is causing this disturbance. It's just a rat on the attic, you know, or a raccoon. Fast forward to the good, good stuff. What? Who the F is that man? How creepy Once are you? the footage the day later, he couldn't believe his own eyes. How creepy As are you, creepy dude? looking head seems to appear in the right corner. The man believes That's that no this raccoon. is nothing positive and that maybe an evil entity made its way into his home. A scary thought for sure. Oh. What the F man. Creepy mother F man. The passenger. The video was shared by a bus driver who was just finishing up his shift when he noticed a stranger on the bus camera which caught his attention initially as this was the last stop he made. So he got ready to make his way up the upper deck to kick this person out. Get out of here! But there's no one there! How weird is that, man? You guys don't know, I don't believe you know, but I'm a bus driver, and I've never encountered something like this. Hopefully, never will. Nobody was there. The person he saw on the monitor was just vanished. That's weird, had no man. Idea how this was possible, as this had never happened before. The question is, was this all just a skid? Or did the man capture a passenger from the afterlife, perhaps? Or is it some kind of Pareidolia, because the quality of this camera is is shite, right? No, but it no, that's a person sitting there, man. On my bike to the Slip store. Was uploaded by Jose Maria, who supposedly loves to go on hikes and caving adventures with a friend of his. This night, they were just on their way home from another caving trip. So, while this was not technically captured inside the cave, it was still in pretty close vicinity to the cave. The area around is said to be haunted since the dawn of time, and the young man's helm camera might have captured a glimpse of that. Let's go. What? There was someone there. Holy toaster, man. Who are, who is that? Oh, look at that face. Look at that dead face, what man. they captured here seems to be of pretty small statue and was perhaps wearing a black oh, dress. Oh, oh, oh. Pretty strange, isn't it? How creepy is that, man? So something seems to be wrong with this thing's face and it does look like yeah. straight out of a nightmare. They have no explanation of what, what that could have been other than one of the lost souls which are said to roam this area. 
That is creepy, man. Perhaps. Holy air fryer, dude. This video was shared by concerned father who states that this evening he was playing a round of hide and seek with his kids and his wife. And apparently they do this relatively often. However, tonight something rather eerie and unexpected occurred. Kid hiding in there? Or no? But there's no one there. He was sure someone was hiding in there, but no. He's just puzzled, you know? It seemed that the door was swung open by an invisible force. And after oh, realizing really? this, the man was quite a bit afraid. And they are currently looking into what could have caused this. Was it perhaps something from another realm? Could be. That was weird, man. Missing in action. The next video was featured by Sergeant Peppers, who states that he as well was out this night with two of his friends. They love venturing to abandoned tunnel systems, caves and catacombs all over Canada. In this video, they were following a local urban legend about an abandoned catacomb system, which leads into a giant cave. And while doing some recordings in there, they lost track of one of their friends. Of course, this made them a bit uneasy, and it is said that what's to follow was the first documented paranormal encounter. Matt. Too dark to see anything. Matt! Oh, he's freaking us out. Well, hello. It was the white sheet ghost. Oh, who is that man? They came across a faceless person, pale and dressed in a white cloth. Many commenters speculate that this could perhaps be a former patient who lost their life in this tunnel system. Who knows what Was it under hospitals were used for back in the, day. in the end, we can all just speculate what exactly took place down here. That's weird, man. What are you doing down there? Missing again? Following videos were recorded by Dustin Lee Fraser, who was staying in a cabin in the Appalachian Mountains, and he started recording because some eerie noises from the outside kept scaring him. There's a security light right over here, and it just was on, and then it went off. Oh, it just came on again. I was just trying to get me some trail mix, and... Hello? Hello? 
You heard this thing making really strange and human-like noises, which is why he was afraid that it might have been a Wendigo, which are said to mimic humans. Oh, someone's thumping upstairs as well. There's something on the roof. That's spookily. Someone's definitely stopping upstairs. Everybody last time got fucking pissed at me. Open the door. Because I opened the door, so I'm not going to do that this time. But it's back. That the Wendigo speaking as well? How would you react if you encountered something like this? I'm freaked right out, man. If this is for real, I would be out of there. Like right now. Two minutes ago. I shit my pants. Several times. <laughs> what? Run! Okay, so here we go. Here's some water. If you're thirsty. Did you hear that? Splash, that could be a fish, you know? Or a frog or something. I like hear some more. I know, she kind of look rickety. Did you hear that? Did it just Ooh. say jump in? They didn't hear it. She very rickety. Did he heard that. But, um, so apparently some people, they, like, they live out here. And then other people, they just, like, rent it for the seasons. And, um, I... I don't know. I feel like I couldn't live on the water. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Careful. Yeah, I hate that. Anyways. I tripped. <laughs> um, but. They. But. What does it say? Um, Sounds like it says stop it or something, yeah? They don't hear it. You only hear it on the camera. Microphone. Oh. Let's hear it again. I think it says stop it, yeah? But... Comment down below what you think it's saying. You heard that. Then, but, you know, we should probably... You did hear that. Because it's, like, starting to rain and stuff, but... I thought I heard like yeah. footsteps or something. Oh. That's creepy, man. <gasps> we gotta go. We gotta go. Go, go. <laughs> What on earth makes that sound? That's not a wolf. Is it? <laughs> Holy Moses, that's creepy, man.
There was a cat. Open the door. Is that what it says? Did it say that? Open the door. What? And this is recently, man. Look at this. It was 3rd of February. Oh. Or 2nd of March. I don't know. Could be. There's that, there's that screaming again. Oh, I got the creeps. The goosebumps. And chills that are multiplying. So I just got home from work and I found this on the ground. And I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like it is busted. Now, if this was just a wild animal or an unidentified creature, it wasn't. still unknown. But I suppose, after all of this, it's pretty certain that Dustin has experienced some terrifying activity, whatever it was. Yeah. Missing again? <laughs> the next video was shared by Jack, who states that he and his girlfriend were out that night on their way to the Blue Ghost Tunnel. To follow up on some research they found on the internet, they came across something pretty inexplicable in their minds. Important to note, they state that they did not bring any flashlights at the time of their initial recordings and only came back with one after exiting the cave and running into a couple that actually had brought one way later. Let's take a look. What? Oh. I can hear your footsteps. Yeah, someone yelled, yelled, help. In the far distance. I just seen a light at the end of the tunnel. What the f Hello? You're not alone. What the f was that? Oh. The mysterious. Guys, if you don't hear it. But on headphones, you'll hear it a lot better, you know? This light was seen right at the end of the tunnel. Given that nobody had a flashlight, it made them wonder what could have been the cause for that. Also, the cries for help were only discovered after the couple had returned home. Was it cries from the afterlife? In 1888, 30 people lost their lives right in front of the tunnel when a train crashed after the conductor had jumped off and left the machine. As well as several what? more fatal accidents Why would that he had do taken that? place around the cave. Could this all be the reason for the residual energy that Could might be. have been captured on tape here? Who can say? Uh oh. Grandma's home. Grandma's missing this now? This video has been shared by Fourth Wall and it features a man who documented an eerie case of paranormal activity in the house oh. of his late grandma. Fourth Wall, that's a good channel as well. I should react to it sometime. Mother, he states that the whole family believed that she had a drawer which had an evil spirit attached to it. And there was a lot of weird phenomena whenever they were visiting. Now the grandson was documenting the weird things in this abandoned home that were still taking place. What does he 
They think that this potentially is the spirit of his grandma sitting at her dining table on the floor. Is this possible? Maybe. Doesn't really look like anything. Should look behind the wall. In my house, in my now home. We are taking a look at the case of user Pain Dice. He's experiencing terrifying things inside of his home, and in each of his recordings, he's sharing creepy events that are unfolding. The following video is no exception. <laughs> No lights for you, my friend. The following recordings were oh. captured when pain starts hearing noises I thought I saw something there. Room. It's late at night already at this point. The dog sensing something? His dog noticed something. Something yeah. that couldn't be captured by the camera lens. And the longer the night got, the more pain was sure that the dog, the the dog seems confused. Stemming from the lower floor, so he left his dog in his room and started checking out the lower area. No. Now I hear something. Hay alguien aquí? A ver, pues. Escuché como si me hablara. No sé si se alcanzó a escuchar una voz. Se los juro que no sé si se alcanzó a escuchar una voz. What? Oh. Holy moly. Sentí como si me soplaran en la nuca, no sé. We heard it. Como si me hicieran así como the creepy sensation as if something was breathing. And we even could hear this sinister noise, which made ah. this fact so much more terrifying. He knew that something was close, but worse was yet to come. Uy. No, ma. No manches. Está viendo lo que yo. No. Y, 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 y no solo eso, eh. Ahí en el. En el refri tenía una foto de mi mamá. Ahorita en el, no, bueno, no me fijé en el video. Oh, there was a photo. Pues antes de irme a dormir ahí la tenía. But it's not Uy, there anymore. The cross as well. What? Está viendo lo que yo. Qué pedo. A cross that hung on the wall had disappeared while he was checking other areas of the house. Just oh. like his mother's photograph. It also had been removed from the refrigerator in just a matter of minutes, just as shown in the video where they were previously hanging. Payne then wanted to see where these two items had ended up, only to stumble over something even more terrifying. Oh.
Oh, are those hands? I think I've seen. I I think I've seen this one before. But look at that. Either small children hands or maybe a woman, you know? Hola. Go check outside, open the door. Hola, Hola chica. Open the door. What's he doing, man? What's going on? Oh, he's freaked out, man. A scary pair of hands was behind the glass, trying to make contact, and when he extended his hand, a terrifying visage was revealed. This terrifying event made him oh. run to find shelter in his room. And it would be weeks before he could start recording again. And it was during the following night when he tried to record a brief tour of the first floor once more. Pues parece dice que lo que sea que se anda apareciendo aquí pues alimenta como de oscuridad, no sé, ¿no? De hecho eso fue lo que ustedes pusieron, ¿no? Yo. Sin footsteps. Bueno, bueno, al final es como yo les digo, ¿no? No lo quieren creer, está chido, ¿no? No tengo ninguna bronca. Escuchaban, les digo voces, pero... Oh! Who is that, man? It's a shadow creep. It's just standing there, looking at him. Run upstairs. Hug it. Kick it in the teeth. See if it's still there. Imagine that shadow creep just came lurking very slowly down and towards him. Oh. Hello? 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 Yeah, we saw it. How? How creepy is that, man? And are these some glowing eyes over here? Is that glowing eyes or what? Some lights of some sort? I don't know. Yeah, we saw it. Look, he's legit freaking out. Now the light's working, yeah? It didn't work before, did it? Was that another video? <laughs> oh! Oh. I thought this was the shadow creep as well, man. I guess it wasn't. <laughs> he doesn't see it, though. So something that should be there, I guess. Oh, the lights went out by itself. Oh, it was okay. Oh, 
Ho 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 ho! Run! Get out of there, man! Now there's nothing. There's nothing black hanging here. It's white. What was it then? That we saw hanging here before? And why didn't he see it? Oh. That's scary, man. It is said that these type of manifestations are the most dangerous because they are deviant and seem to have no limits. Perhaps in the coming days we will have new updates on the case. Hopefully. But whatever is lingering in his home is seemingly toying with pain. I'll keep my eyes open. Thank you. I'll check out your next video. Or all of them. Roadside incident. The video was captured around 1 a.m. by a trucker who was navigating a seldom traveled road, notorious for its danger due to numerous past accidents, some of which ended tragically in fatalities. This had led some to deem the road as cursed, advocating for its permanent closure. However, for drivers like the one featured in today's video, alternatives to this treacherous route are limited. Tonight, Gastor Rodriguez and his co-driver found themselves on this notorious road. To lighten the eerie atmosphere, they were listening to upbeat music when suddenly something quite unsettling unfolded. Sorry. What? As their camera rolled, a mysterious, almost spectral figure darted across the drift oh, path, yeah. vanishing into thin air. Astonishingly, neither driver seemed to have noticed this enigmatic presence during the recording. How it weird was only is that, upon man? reviewing the footage that an overwhelming sense of dread overcame them. The identity of this elusive figure remains shrouded in mystery. Uh -oh. Some speculate it could be the spirit of a departed accident victim yeah, still wandering could be. this cursed route. Whether it's a ghostly encounter or something else entirely. The no footage perplexing questions. And it just and it disappears. To ponder the inexplicable nature of what was captured that fateful night. Holy spatula fork and knife, man. What is it? was uploaded to Reddit by user Light Surgery. He states, I just got a motion alert from my doorbell camera, and this is what it captured. It appears to be a shadowy figure leaning around the side of the house and then walking off past the neighbor's car and onto the street. The house is opposite back onto a cemetery. My house is a Victorian terrace house in London, UK. I just bought the house and I'm currently renovating, so lots of change going on inside. I'm pretty terrified. Well, hello. Doesn't really look human either. With that long ass neck and the weird shape of head. What is that, man? It's an alien? It could be an alien, yeah? Or a skinwalker, maybe? People think that it looks like this thing has humanoid features, but does somehow look like a ghost. The quick movement yeah, it does not is also look like unusual. really human. The man never found out if this was indeed something paranormal or just a scary person. A scary person with a weird long neck. It's just darting back and forth. What? What's your opinion? 
I don't know. Skinwalker, maybe. Alien. A ghost? In our car. In our driveway. Car apparition. This clip was recorded by some friends in Japan who were having fun together in the local woods on a weekend. It was pretty late when the group decided to make their way back to their cars. And it seems that a blind passenger was joining the ride home. Someone sitting behind no there, or what? Seems to have noticed the spirit. What spirit? Oh, I thought that was one of them. I thought it was one of them. Was the ghost lady part of the group all along, when nobody realized that she was on board? Holy poster, man! The stairs in my backyard. Sent by Julia, and she tells me that a security camera in a family home has caught something really inexplicable. They have only moved in recently, but ever since, they wake up to some really strange noises in the middle of the night. Even their motion sensor alarm gets toggled on ever so often, without anybody being on the ground floor. The family has mounted several security cameras around the house for safety and to maybe capture the cause of all of this. One evening, the camera in the living room has caught something really bone chilling. Oh, what's that shadowy figure walking up the stairs? Or is it floating up the stairs? What? That ain't no camera glitch, right? Following the stairs. Oh. Apparently, the man was alone that night, and nobody else should have been on this recording. There's no yeah. human. It's so floating in the middle of the air. Semi transparent figure walking up the stairs. Is it a ghost from the past? More like floating, yeah? It's not walking. How weird is that, man? The Schultz house. This video by the haunted site is an investigation of the Schultz house located in the Satro Tunnel ghost town in Nevada. The team had just reached the Satro Tunnel property. The old Schultz house is a place dripping with creepy stories and tales of strange things that had occurred within its walls. Not much is known about the history of the house. However, it is said that most of these strange encounters are said to involve childlike spirits. In fact, almost immediately after entering the home, the group believed to have heard children's giggles coming from the empty parts of the house. Let's check it out. Do you want me to go upstairs? No. Oh, I heard something. It sounded like a, like. Oh. Is that a shadow creep peering down? Right up there. I think that was the spirit box with the scare. Did the you see it? Me. Here. I'm gonna grab this rim pod. Take a look at this possible shadow figure. Yeah. That went oh. completely missed by the crew. Could this be a curious child spirit peeking be. down at all the new people and cameras? That would make sense if this is like a really old house before they had cameras and such. Yeah? It would be, what is that, man? What are you holding you know what in your it feels hand? Like right now? Oh my god. It seriously feels like it feels like I'm playing hide and go seek right now. Yo. Yep. It seriously feels like it feels like I'm playing hide and go seek right now. What yep. does that sound? Is that what we're doing? 
Okay, that's like, I'm not even kidding. Do you want me to come and try and find you? Oh. Oh. Do you want me to come and try and find you? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> did you hear that? I diddly did. It seems that another shadow figure is caught on film a short while later. Someone goes right next to me. Here. I'm gonna... You're not alone Here. in that house. I'm gonna... It is seen walking through the hallway from right to left. And notice the way the lights in the back of the room disappear behind the shadow. Yeah. However, doesn't it seem slightly tall to be a child? Perhaps there are also some adult spirits lurking these halls. What do you think? Could be, yeah. Why not? Oh, that was all. Hello. That was all from King Frostmere. How good were those videos, man? I enjoyed them. A lot. Hope you did too. If you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. I'll put a link in the description for the original video. Go over to King Frostmare as well. Leave a like and subscribe. Show your support. Until next time. Bye bye.